Hello, and welcome to the Stomata Analysis Tutorial for ImageJ. ImageJ is a free Java-based image processing program. In this video, you will learn how to use the computer software to measure the average surface area of stomata for each specimen. The first step is to open ImageJ on your computer. You may do so by clicking the icon here. If you have not already downloaded ImageJ, you may, at, you may for free at their website. You know ImageJ is open when you see the toolbar in the upper right hand corner of your screen. To get started, you must open the picture that you want to analyze. To open the picture, you have to go to File, Open. You have to search for the picture on your computer, for example, mine is located on the desktop. Double click and you should see your picture open. Once the picture is open, the very first step is you must make it black and white. You cannot analyze an image while it is in color. To do this, go to Image Type 8-Bit and you should see it change to black and white. The next important thing is you must crop the image so that you only have a certain number of stomata so they're bigger and easier to distinguish for the computer software. To crop, you must go down here and just quickly click and drag to the section that you would like to highlight. For example, here. If you notice in the toolbar, it actually tells you the width and height in pixels. Once you have the width and height you'd like, just click once more and you should have a rectangle box for your crop size. Once you have that, go to Image, Crop, and there is your crop section. The next thing that I recommend doing is going to Process and to the tool sharpen and click just once and that just makes the picture a little bit more sharper so the stomata stand out a little bit more. The next very important thing and it's probably the most difficult is you have to adjust the contrast. So you um, adjust and then we actually specifically want to adjust the threshold. So go ahead and click on that. Now you notice that there is a red on the bottom and that the picture is still in black and white, but little areas such as here and here are showing red. That's what we want. We want the picture to start showing red so that the red outlines every individual stomata. And to do this, you will use the second toolbar right here. So notice as I click right, the red starts to come into the image and starts to highlight the circles in red, such as right here. You want to get as many circles fully surrounded by red as possible, but making sure that you don't fully engulf it so that, for example, right here, it's very hard to tell it's a circle because it's surrounded. So keep getting as many as you can, and once you're happy with your selection, go ahead and hit Apply. And you may close out of the threshold. The next very important step is to go to Process, Binary, and click on Make Binary. It simply inverts the photo so it can do the analysis. But one more small tip is to go back to Process, Binary, and go to the tool called Open. And what that does, it gets rid of a little bit more of the background, which, um, which is this black wax right here. Now you're ready to analyze. Go to the Analyze toolbar and go to Analyze Particles. Now once this shows up, you have to select the parameters in which the, in which the system is looking for stomata. So for example, the size. We've noticed with a crop section, the best size range is 100 to 1000. And make sure to hit pixel units. Everything will be measured in these units. The next very important thing is the circularity. So how circular are the, are the stomata is what you're telling the program. So we're telling the program we want 0.7 to 1.0 circularity of objects. The next thing is the show. We want the ellipses, so again the circles, because that's what stomata typically are. And right here down um, in the box, make sure these four are checked so that it displays the results right away. Once you have these in order, go ahead and press OK. Now a new box will pop up right here. This is all the stomata in which it detected and measured. Now, please notice that, for example, right here in this section, they have two that are very close together and oddly shaped. This is usually a mistake done by the program. So I'm guessing this one right here is actually a bigger stomata, but for some reason they cut it in half. Imagery is not perfect, so to make up for that, we average our results 
So therefore, this doesn't make such a big of a difference when looking at the results. Now, right behind this is the results box. Go ahead and click on that. And the first thing I do is File, Save As. And I always save it to my desktop because it's easier to find, but you may save it wherever you want. And I'm just going to name this Sample 2. And then once it's saved, you can go ahead and exit out this. And same with this one. Here's the summary just saying the count. So it measured 158 individual stomata. And that one is actually already included in the results, so you may close out of that as well. And this right here um, was our picture. I go ahead and close out. I don't usually save it. Um, you can if you want for later analysis, but I usually like saving the original photo. So in case you mess up on a step, you can always just close out and then reopen the original photo. So I'll hit no. So that is using ImageJ. The next thing I do is to average my results. I actually do that in Excel. So I go ahead and open my results that I just saved to my desktop. And this may take several moments. I have a box that usually pops up um, that says that this is in an old format. Notice the .xls. The new format on my computer is .xlsx, but it's just asking me is it compatible and I just say yes. Now with the measurements, they always give you a mean, min, and max. These actually don't have anything to do with the average surface area, so what I always do is I highlight columns C, D, and E and then I right click and go to clear contents because you don't need it in your analysis. The next thing I do is I actually scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's our number 158 so we know all the results are here. I go down one equals and I put AV and notice the formula for average is right there. Just double click. I then drag all of, or I drag my cursor so it's covering all of the um, measurements and area for area in pixels and then I hit OK. I hit enter and then you have your average surface area in pixels. Now please note that you can change the pixels into millimeter measurements but um, for my project I decided to keep it in pixels. So here is your average number for pixels for this specimen. You can keep um, using ImageJ for every individual until you have a full set of data. Thank you for listening. That was a short tutorial on stomata analysis with ImageJ.